One of the things that Republicans know how to do is they can, they, in a short amount of time, with a limited amount of words, they can lie to you and tell you all the things that they've done. You know, uh, Trump would say, I had the best economy that a president has ever had. Uh, business was the best under my administration. The truth of the matter is, business was better under Obama. Business was better under uh, Carter, even Carter. I mean, in, in, in Carter, in a lot of respects, business was better under most other presidents. But Donald Trump took the mantra. And the reason why he's a salesman, he knows how to sell, he knows how to lie. Now, under Biden, Biden has exceeded Obama. Biden has exceeded all these other presidents with his success with the Inflation Reduction Act, with the, with the um, Infrastructure Bill, and all these things, right? This guy has gotten a lot done with limited credit relative to what he has done. Now, Obama did, with, with Obama start of starting to put healthcare into the healthcare is a right domain, not fully completed, not near fully completed. He did a lot. But Biden, with the policies Biden came, policies that even progressives are like, huh? Okay, we didn't expect that out of you. It, it, in, in fact, it helps so many different people around the country. I, I want you to notice in this particular speech, he didn't quite outright say it. But today at the White House, today is the inauguration of, or I should say the anniversary of the Inflation Reduction Act. Now, here's the deal. The Inflation Reduction Act reduces inflation for real, kind of, kind of. But what it does is it makes things available. But not only that, right? Under the Inflation Reduction Act, we get all these policies for green energy, for a, giving a, creating the infrastructure for a lot more employment. All these things occurred under his watch, a direct result of this Inflation Reduction Act. And specifically, uh, even red state governors and red state politicians are touting it. Whenever something opens, a manufacturing facility opens, something, a, a new street getting built, a new bridge getting built, it is, hey, check it out. Look at what your congressperson has done for you. Not, re not telling them we voted against this. So they're getting all the benefits as they vote against it, as they vote against Biden. Biden made a very important point. He said, notice inflation is coming down. And in effect, he has pointed out something that we've been saying on Politics Done Right that Katie Porter has been saying for a while. Most of this inflation was corporate greed. But he didn't say corporate greed. The president didn't say corporate greed. What the president said is, why is inflation coming down? Because profits are coming back to earth. In other words, because they're no longer picking your pocket as much as they were before. The corporations. He said it without being as graphic as I just was in saying, listen, these evil corporations are thieves and they're picking your pockets. But he said it, he said it anyway. I want you to listen to Biden, and then I want to listen to you to listen close to the end when he talks about what Democrats have told him about red states. This is important. So let's go ahead, listen to this, and then we'll take it on the other side. Where is it written that America can't create the most vibrant and innovative economy and be the world's leading manufacturer again? Where is that written? I didn't see that anywhere. We created more jobs in two years than any administration has in a single four-year term. I'm proud that unemployment has been below 4% for the longest stretch in over 50 years. We now have more jobs than we did before the pandemic. And workers aren't just finding more jobs, they're finding better jobs, higher pay, higher job satisfaction. And unemployment is down and so is inflation. Remember what the experts told us, okay? And they're traditional economists, very smart women and men. They told us getting inflation under control in order to do, we had to lower wages and increase unemployment. Not a joke, had to lower wages and increase unemployment. But we never, never, never thought the problem was too many people, at least I didn't, too many people that were working, or the working people were making too much money. I just thought that was not the best answer to how to get it down. Now, one reason we've seen inflation fall by two thirds without losing jobs is corporate profits are coming back down to earth. The excesses are being eliminated by the corporations. 
We have more to do, but inflation is now the lowest point it's been in two years. When the Inflation Reduction Act was passed a year ago today, inflation was, as it pointed out by Chuck or Nancy, I can't remember which one, 8.3%. It's now down to 3.2%, the lowest among, it's going to go lower. But here's the point, it's lowest among the world's leading economies. Take every major economy in the world, we have the lowest on infla inflation rate. At the same time, wages are growing faster than inflation. This matters. The way I think about inflation is the way my dad used to talk about around the kitchen table. He'd ask, how much is left after all the monthly bills are paid? How much do you have left over after you pay them all? And is there, at the end of the month, just have a little bit of breathing room? Just a little bit of breathing room. That's one of the reasons why we've worked so hard dealing with farm and other things. Not only to get the overall cost of average people with the monthly bills down, in addition to inflation, the Inflation Reduction Act is giving people more breathing room, as my dad would say, and it's supercharging the economic transition in key ways. First, it's taking the most aggressive action ever on climate energy, ever. I've long said, and I've, that's why I think all the unions have come along. I've long said, when I think climate, not a joke, I think jobs. I think jobs. None of this would have happened had the unions not stepped up and supported us. This law is one of the biggest drivers of jobs and economic growth this country has ever seen. Since I took office, the private sector has announced nearly 400, excuse me, 240 billion dollars in new clean energy manufacturing investments. That private sector, 240 billion dollars invested. And the law has already created an estimated 170,000 clean energy jobs. In one year, it's estimated that it will, it will, that will grow to 1.5 million more jobs over the next decade. First is one year, now we're talking about the decade. You know, just don't take it from me. The CEO of U.S. Steel called the Inflation Reduction Act manufacturing, he called it the Manufacturing Renaissance Act because it's bringing jobs back to America, manufacturing here in America, made in America. According to leading Wall Street firms, Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs, my broader investment, our broader investment in investing in America agenda is unleashing a boom, a boom of manufacturing investments. And we're leaving nobody behind. We're investing in all of America, in the heartland and coast to coast. You know, I saw some of our, a few of my Democratic friends, not in Congress, their friends said, look, you're, you're investing more in red states than in blue states. Well, I made a commitment. And this is about all of America. We've seen progress across the country from Maine to South Carolina to Minnesota to New Mexico. The Vice President and I and the Cabinet have seen progress across the country. Exactly. And notice what he said. Democrats are saying you invested more in red states than blue states. It's not, that's not the issue really, right? Because the red states are in more dire straits than the blue states were ever in. We know that the red states are bigger states. The red states are, they collect more money than they put into the federal government. They ask for more money because they are more dependent. They are more dependent on blue states. That's just a statement of fact. So therefore, when all this money to make things better for the average American comes out, where do you think a lot of that money has to go? Back to the red states. So the Democrats who looked at the president and said, hey, most of, more of your money is going to red states than blue states. The president probably said, I know, but they need help more so than the others. That's just a statement of fact. But that's not the issue. The issue is that he showed in this one piece comprehensively comprehensively and and by the way let me back up back out of that a, a minute we want all americans to do well that's the thing when it comes to progressives we want all americans to do well we are not segmenting americans on who should be successful and who shouldn't be and that is what the the ira proved in as much as no 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 Republican of consequence voted for that bill. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where 
uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.